While they may initially seem confusing, layer masks are in fact extremely easy to use. They allow you to manipulate your photos quickly and easily in a totally non-destructive way, so your original image remains intact. In this tutorial, I'll use layer masks in several ways to create a simple photo montage. Before we begin, I should also mention that you can also use masks in the photo fix environment. See the video tutorial entitled Fix and Enhance in Photo Fix. OK, let's get started. I'm going to create my composite image from these two photos. I need to get them onto separate layers in the same project file. To do this, I click Edit Copy to copy this photo to the clipboard. Now I open my other photo and click Edit Paste as new layer. Photo Plus paste the photo onto a new standard layer. You can see it here on the Layers tab. I want to resize this new layer. So to do this, I select the Deform tool, then hold down the Shift key and click and drag a corner resize handle. Holding down the Shift key maintains the aspect ratio of the photo. To create my montage, I want to erase this background area here to reveal the photo on the background layer. I could do this using the standard eraser, but it would be difficult to edit the image if I change my mind or if I make a mistake, and it wouldn't give me the blended edge I need. Instead, I'll use a layer mask to hide parts of the image. You can add a blank Reveal All mask to an entire layer at any time by simply clicking the Add Layer Mask button. However, it's often much easier to create one from a selection. To create my selection, I'll use the Freehand Selection tool. Now on the Context toolbar, I'll click Modify Selection and adjust my preview mode to White Matte so that I can see the area that's going to be masked. Now I'll increase the feather value and you can see how this gives my selection a faded edge rather than a defined one, so it will blend into the background more easily. OK, that looks good. Now to add the mask. On the Layers tab, I click Add Layer Mask. The mask thumbnail is added to the layer. The black area marks the part of the image that is hidden by the mask. While I still have my selection in place, I'm going to enhance the contrast and tone of the photo. On the Adjustments tab, I expand the Curves Presets list and I'll click this preset here to achieve the effect I want. On the Layers tab, notice that Photo Plus has applied the same mask to the Adjustment layer. Finally, I'll boost the colour of the sky with a Colour Balance adjustment. This image is on the background layer, so I need to select this layer first. Now I'll use the Magic Wand tool to select the sky area. This tool creates a selection by selecting pixels that are close in colour to the area clicked. So it's great for this image because the sky is of a very uniform colour. With the sky selected, I'll go back to the Adjustments tab and choose Colour Balance. You can see the mask added to the Layers tab along with the Adjustment layer. Now I just drag the sliders until I get a nice, intense blue sky. Before we finish, I'll just show you how you can modify a mask by painting on it. If I select the mask on the Colour Balance layer, then select the paintbrush, I can edit the mask by painting on it. At the moment, the foreground colour swatch on the Colour tab is set to black. So if I paint over the white areas of the mask, in this case the sky area, this part of the mask changes to black and the corresponding area of the photo is now masked from the colour balance adjustment. If I now switch my brush colour to white and paint over this area, it is no longer protected from the mask and the adjustment is applied. Here's another quick example of how you can use this method to pop colour in a black and white image. I convert my photo to black and white by adding a black and white film adjustment. You can see that this has added a black and white film adjustment layer and a white reveal all mask to my image. I'll select the paintbrush tool. I want to restore the colour to the photo, so I need to paint on the mask with black. 
to mask the black and white film adjustment and reveal the colour of the photo beneath. This technique can be used to create some really cool effects. That concludes this tutorial on layer masks. I hope you now have a better understanding of them and are looking forward to experimenting with them in your own projects.